Leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're a fan of the baby. Well, some very sad recent news has just came out today as it is January 7th at the time of this recording. And well, 20 minutes ago, it was reported that the baby has just been taken into lockup. Now this was reported by a bunch of major news outlets such as Double XL, No Jumper, and honestly the list just continues on. And due to him being locked up, he can actually be getting sentenced for a very long time due to all of the serious prior incidents he's had with the law. And I'm going to be sharing all of those in full detail today and going over the real reason on why the baby just got locked up yesterday. So make sure you guys watch this video all the way until the end as this is one you're not going to want to miss. Also, if you would like to join our giveaway on any of the items on the screen, all you have to do is leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel to enter. Now, on January 7th, the baby was out shopping inside of the store Montclair, where the person working at the counter apparently noticed that the baby had one of those you know what items on him and actually made the call to law enforcement saying that he had it on him inside of the store when obviously you're not allowed to bring those types of things inside of shopping malls. Now after the phone call, that's when DeBaby was actually surrounded by police after he exited the Montclair store and he was preparing to actually pull away in his car before he was stopped by all of them and taken into lockup. After being taken into lockup, that's when they actually ended up searching his vehicle and that's when the law enforcement found the you know what item in his car. I'm not allowed to say what it is due to all of the new policies on here. But according to TMZ, somebody in the store called the authorities as I mentioned earlier in the video. And obviously, the store worker who noticed it probably noticed who he was as well. And there's actually a lot of rumors now starting online that the person who ended up calling the law enforcement was actually the same person who recorded him getting locked up. Now this is absolutely crazy to even think about because this basically means that the store worker noticed the baby in the store, may have saw that sort of item on him, that's when they called the police, then the store worker actually rushed outside and waited outside so then they can record him being locked up for internet clout. Now this just makes absolutely no sense to me, but this wouldn't be the first time that somebody noticed a celebrity or something like that outside and did something for internet clout. I mean, let's be honest, it's happening every single day now. And even though that hasn't been confirmed to have been real, I really hope it's not due to the fact that this person could have just actually gotten in the baby in a lot of serious problems with the law enforcement for this incident where he can actually be sentenced now for a few years due to this and the store worker did all of this just for some internet clout i mean it would be a terrible situation if that ended up being real and in case anything was that was confusing i just want to state the baby actually did get locked up but apparently that story of the worker who called the law enforcement ran outside of the Montclair store and recorded for themselves the baby being put into lockup. And due to this, the baby could be getting locked up for a very long time due to his priors, which I'm about to share with you right now. I'm going to be sharing all of the exclusive lockup records right now of the baby and why he might face a long sentence for 2021. So, Make sure you guys watch this video all the way until the end, as this is where it starts to get very interesting. Now, DeBaby has always been pretty familiar with the law enforcement. His first occurrence with the law enforcement was all the way back in June 15th of 2013. Being from Charlotte, he actually got locked up in Charlotte from the police department from there and allegedly they caught the baby with possession. It was actually nothing too serious. It ended up being a misdemeanor in North Carolina. The baby was held to $500 bond, but he was actually later released that day from one of his friends bailing him out. Now the final outcome of that case is still undocumented, 
but we're most likely just going to assume he got probation since this was apparently DaBaby's first time being put into lockup. Getting into his second time, this ended up being in December 16th, 2013. Details are once again scarce for this one, but online records show that DaBaby was charged with misdemeanor again of possession. This is literally all I can find about this one, so it must not have been that serious. But that is on the good part of one thing you're going to notice, it's actually kind of a trend with all of the times that he's been locked up. Every single time has actually been pretty much a misdemeanor, so that's pretty good. As I just stated in the last two times he got sentenced to lock up, they were both ended up being misdemeanors. But getting into DaBaby's third time meeting up in lockup, this one was a little bit more serious compared to his others. For this time, DaBaby actually ended up having a felony on his record, and once again it was for possession. And yep, a single possession was made by the Mecklenburg Police Department out in Charlotte, and somehow it ended up being a felony in the state of North Carolina. Regardless though, the baby was taken to lock up and later released on $5,000 bond. I actually couldn't find the outcome of this one as well. I'm assuming something must have happened to their online records, but this is all that I could find. Now, with those three priors, a lot of people watching this video may think that's not that bad. Well, this is actually where it starts to get bad. Having three things on your record is already kind of bad, as a lot of judges use the three strike rule, where if you have, you know, three priors, they count that as a strike, like the baseball term, and that's when they'll sentence you for a pretty long time. But one thing we're just going to have to kind of pray and hope for DaBaby in this situation is that he doesn't get a judge with that kind of, you know, attitude and things in that nature. And it's actually a pretty common thing for rappers to get treated a little bit differently in court. I mean, I'm assuming everybody watching this video has probably had a favorite music artist who probably doesn't have the cleanest of records with the law enforcement and have noticed sometimes when they do something that's not that bad and end up getting locked up for it, sometimes they just get sentenced to a really, really long deal. And it honestly doesn't even make that much sense. And that's due to the three strike rule. So we're just gonna have to kind of hope that this doesn't happen with the baby due to him having three priors that would count as his three strikes, so him getting locked up one more time, if a judge sees this that uses that kind of a rule set, well, the baby could be getting locked up for quite some time, especially if he wasn't allowed to have that item on him at that time. But anyways guys, I am going to be ending the video here. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Has been District Trending, and I'm out. Peace.